TGIF, thank God it's Friday. Yes, it's the weekend. It's that time of the week to rest, to unwind, you know, to relax, to rejuvenate, and all of that over, you know, the course of the week. Uh, this is Gospel News, and we want to say thank you guys for everything you do. We love and we truly, truly appreciate every one of you. The Prince of Afrobeats, Rema, the Rave Lord himself, is on the news today. You know, Rema has had a really, really phenomenal growth in the music industry over the past five years it's been you know years back to back of it of bangers of sweet sweet songs you know from dumebi up to the latest one you know with charlie poppy benin boys and rema seems to be cheering up for another album you know um after the whole you know global sensation for calm down and then in other news calm down just you know racked up to over 2 billion streams on spotify making it the most streamed the most streamed african song now this is even the original not the remix with selena this is the original calm down itself it's racked over 2 billion streams on spotify this is amazing this is of the hook this is really really incredible a major shout out to the prince of afrobeat that is you know the title he has given himself knowing that he's super young and he's um about 24 years old and you cannot call yourself a king because obviously there are other big guys so you know they drag anything with anybody because you know we call davido the king we call whiskey the king we call Bono the king we call bado the king and the likes so he said he is the prince of afrobeat probably in some you know two four five eight years to come he's gonna crown himself king but right now he said i am the prince of afrobeat i am him you know benin boys came charlie poppy rema um a lot of people not impressed with that one but bro benin boys love that jam die like you know the challenge with the flaunting the bands and all of that and rema said he's gonna call benin boys before he even call the police because he's gonna call his brother not long after that he dropped another one talking about me when i'm making money on a monday morning <laughs> He said that one is titled he, he, he. when should he drop just two weeks after that or less than we heard another one again mash adi mash am adi mash am boom 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 like bro this is some insane level of you know music that rema is rema is coming through on with on his uh, on his on his incoming album we definitely know that this is preparation for an album because rema had been silent for the most part of the year and you know if you look at it the first half of the year a lot of you know artists were quiet were silent you know doing their things low-key battle ended the first half of the year with the ikigai album that is still doing massively well right now battle is the wave of the moment and remember i said guys i'm back i've woken up yes you know a lot of talks about him leaving maven records him joining some sort of cults because of how we portray his art and all of that everything is just art and you know people should accept you know the music and love the art you know likewise he said that yo i am different i don't do things the regular way and you can tell from these crazy sounds bro p prime produced that matcham and it is definitely amazing like if you listen where you could you you'll be hearing some vibe of bombele 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 boom 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 like bro i really cannot wait for that you know jam to drop people are already learning people have you know eating up the the monday way monday morning talking about me when i'm making money he <laughs> taught them also you know while he was in portugal he taught them the song and people really love and vibe to that one so we cannot wait for rema to actually come through with this album that is cooking that is teasing us with so that means that the second half of the year is going to lead us to a lot of albums just today simi dropped an album lost you know and found that one she's you know spoken about also and this album houses um ladipo with the know you remix there's loj on miracle walker there's bella Shmoda on alafia there's asha yes simi you know during the listening party she said she has always wanted a song with asha all her life and she's super happy that she has achieved this and that's on period and then we know the one we heard borrow 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 me your baby with files and then there's the legendary ebenezer obe chief commander on another track jawa this is a 14 track album so you should take out time to listen to share your thoughts you know the year is like afrobeat has really really evolved to an artist 
artists confidently you know dropping album dropping project you know back to back not just singles but body of work to you know showcase how talented they are we cannot wait for more album that is going to drop in 2024 remember fireboy is coming with Adida Mola. Ashaka is coming through with Lungu Boy. Rema is coming through with the album. We don't know what that's going to be yet. And a couple of more, more projects, you know, that is going to drop into, you know, the ending or uh, to the second half of 2024. Everybody is jeering up for that December rave, that December madness that is set to come through. Um, looking at, you know, 2024 so far, a lot of artists have also been silent. Uh, likes of Black Bones. Black Bones, you know, he's, he's been on tour. He said he's moving around here and there. But then he posted on his, you know, story. Why didn't you guys tell me all I needed was a good haircut now for the new music? You know, Black, Black Bones is that crazy guy, you know, that really, really goes crazy when he, you know, comes out with new projects, maybe sound, maybe song rather, or album. He just go brazy about it, you know, pushing it at, at all fronts, pushing it with all of his might, all of his power, you know, and everything he's got. And right now, Blackbone has said it is time for new music. So I am ready. Guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Now, let's just talk about some artists on Spotify. Like I said earlier, you know, Rema racked up $2 billion on Spotify, you know, for Calm Down. And then there's been talk that David o has also racked up over 2 billion streams on Spotify as, you know, overall in his career, making him the sixth African artist to amass 2 billion on Spotify. That is really, really amazing. Because, bro, 2 billion is a lot of numbers. And, you know, for artists, I'm definitely sure Bonner Boy has done that. You know, Brema obviously has done that. Um, Whiskey has done that. David o, you know, being the first person to do that. I don't know who the other two people are. But now, David o is, you know, the sixth African artist to amass up to that amount on spotify it is amazing Vic Tony with his you know, new album wrapped up to 40 million streams on, on spotify recently Thames also with born in the world album racked up over two, 200 million streams on spotify and this is truly truly amazing and really really great to see that our african artists are doing us well are doing us proud you know at so so you know working hard and making us that yes making sure that africa is on the map and a lot of new music came out today. You know, it's Friday. You know, King Maddy came with came through with the King Maddy EP Deluxe, Simi's album Lost and Found, Show Them Camp, The Cavemen, and Siki David with No Love in Lagos, Ricardo Banks, Visa, Rage, Lagos Olori, Logos Olori, and you know, Peruzi with Oshimiri, BOJ, and Odumodu Black with Jabo. You know, Dan Dizzy came through, Tenny, you know, Tony. F- Toby Franco, Musa Kiss, Come Closer, Boy Spice, Don Jazzy, and King Promise, Luz, Lecon, Pick a Tight Tool, you know. And to think about it, that Don Jazzy has been singing more recently. He had one with Skibi, he had one with an artist, and, you know, it's just been like 2024 is also the year that I want to hear, you know, more of Don Jazzy. And do you think Maven should unveil another artist? Looking at how well they've done so far in 2024. Guys, share your thoughts in the comment section. I would truly, truly appreciate every one of you. We'll catch you guys on the very next one.